Welcome back to Adventures with Rosie. Today we're talking toilets, um, specifically the Thetford cassette toilets. How to clean them, how to maintain them, and how to fix them up if you've got any issues. Let's get into it. All right, before we get stuck into cleaning the actual cassette, we're gonna have a quick clean of the housing itself. So one thing you will notice, if you rinse off your cassette and you put it back in with a bit of water on it, that water's gonna pool in the bottom. Um, it's gonna pool in an area that actually, from the looks of the part manual, is designed for um, an exhaust fan system. Um, but actually what it makes is quite a good water trap. Uh, obviously you don't want water sitting in there for too long, so we're gonna pull the cover off, get in there and clean that out. So another thing that will contribute to water being in that, uh, that little area is um, if you're like us and you travel with small children that like to push buttons, um, uh, Harvey will often flush our toilet when the um, cover is shut and the water will pool on that top of that rubber cap on the cassette and actually flow over the side and down into that little, um, that little tray there. So it does pay for us to check that from time to time. And um, you might find if you travel with small children <laughs> that uh, you might have some water in there too. Well, now that the toilet housing's all clean and tidy, let's move on to cleaning the cassette. All right, so cleaning your cassette. So nine times out of 10, sliding this flap open and turning that and chucking the hose in there is gonna clean out the cassette really well. Um, there are a few problematic areas inside the cassette where toilet paper can get stuck. Uh, one is this um, sliding cover here. And another is the float or the um, level indicator that says whether or not your cassette's full. Now that's got a little bit of a plastic piece inside and quite often toilet paper can get wrapped around that. So how do we get into this cassette to give it a deeper clean? Well, the answer lies over here in these two dots. Um, there is a solid dot here, meaning the, the ring is locked or closed and a hollow dot here. And there's an arrow that lines up with either dot. So basically what we can do is we can open this flap um, I have seen people use this plastic flap as a bit of a lever to get this uh, open but I prefer just to use a piece of wood um, just because that plastic flap uh, is obviously quite thin and I don't want to break it. So all we're basically going to do is turn the arrow from there, we're going to turn it to the left to the other dot. Simple as that. Now on a brand new cassette, uh, this one's uh, 10 months old, that is obviously quite stiff. But now we can pull this out and we can reveal the inside of the cassette and the mechanism. So first things first, let's take a look at the float, which is this little plastic thing down the back here. So as your cassette fills up, this float rises and that's what lets your toilet uh, know that your cassette's full. Um, and ours, we have a little red light that comes on when our cassette's full. Now a couple of things with this float. I have seen this um, pop out at the top here and if your toilet is not indicating when it's full, just check this float is seated properly. Um, sometimes when you're emptying your cassette and you're shaking it backwards and forwards, full of water, um, this thing can become dislodged here. Um, you can probably also break these, but this is just a spare part from Thetford. It just clips in there. It's pretty easy to get in and out. Um, this is also a really um, prone place for getting toilet paper wrapped around and that sort of thing. So I like to get in there and clean all around this mechanism um, and just make sure it's free and moving. All right, the actual seal itself. This is probably the grubbiest part of your cassette, the, the part that um, gunk is most likely to build up in. Um, if you've ever done what I have done before is that your cassette's too full, it's late at night, and you've accidentally got a piece of toilet paper stuck here in the cassette, and you've gone and shut the lid, um, shut the flap, and you've actually kind of pushed that toilet paper into this seal here, into this groove. So one thing I like to do is get in here, open it up, and give the inside of this groove here a really good clean. Um, that rubber, obviously you want to keep this groove nice and tidy. The cleaner you keep the seal, the better it's going to work, right? So the less odor you're going to have in your um, motorhome. Now you also important to clean that disc, which is the actual thing that slides over. And you can do that by just picking it up here and cleaning it while you rotate it. Um, give it a clean. That's quite easy to get to and it rotates quite nicely there. Um, the entire mechanism actually on the bottom you can clean as well. 
um, because obviously all of this is prone to uh, whatever's in the cassette. So you can see the seal there, nice and clean, and it's sitting nice and flat. Um, just one of those areas that unfortunately is quite hard to keep clean uh, with all the sloshing that goes on when you're driving with a full cassette. Um, yeah, this piece just needs a bit of maintenance every now and again. So one thing that did happen to our old cassette toilet um, before we got the new one was it was quite an old cassette and the handle over time actually got loose and started coming off on one side which was quite surprising. The handle maintenance is pretty simple, you can buy this as a spare part, all you need small little uh, flat blade screwdriver, you pop it in over this side in the groove and you can pop the cap off like so and you have two screws here, um, just uh, Phillips screws, one there one there and um, you can give those a tighten and just uh, tighten that handle up and um, then simply just pop the cover back on and you're away laughing well thank you so much for watching now if you're new to the channel and you stumbled across adventures with rosie from this video welcome to the channel uh, we're a family of five we are cruising around new zealand in our jaco journey caravan and uh, we're just on a mission to kind of give our children an appreciation for this beautiful land and to see the country for ourselves. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, we do weekly vlog videos, um, product reviews, that sort of thing. If that interests you, whack that subscribe button and um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>